Hey guys, Rex here. So what's up with the wolf's hook? The wolf's hook started off as a tool in the ancient times. Then it got adopted as a pagan symbol, something that had great power to ward off spirits. Then it got adopted by the Third Reich. Now you see it being used in the current conflict by some of the outfits that are very controversial there. Um, where do the critiques come from for these different outfits in that conflict? You know, this is... Um, the latest, greatest avant-garde conflict. And it's funny how the narrative will shift to accommodate itself and omit certain different details in symbolism and history, even recent history. And sometimes people will uh, attribute things from the past onto things in the present and vice versa. And so on this video, this is not gonna be a hit piece on any particular group or any particular person or any particular people that might support support this latest avant-garde conflict. But uh, we're gonna do facts, not feelings, because there's a lot of controversy on this issue. Um, unfortunately, we're gonna show stuff in this particular video, not this exact one here, but in this talk we're gonna have, there's gonna be, there's gonna be images that I'm gonna share with you that are not permitted on YouTube. So if you don't like that, complain to YouTube. Don't leave a whining post below saying, Rex, how come you're not giving it to me for free on YouTube? Because YouTube, are they're, they're tyrants and they don't allow free speech anymore. So unfortunately, I have to put it where you can find it. I'll leave a link below where that's at. Not a sales pitch, that's the reality. Don't be offended at me for dealing with reality be offended that that is reality, okay? So we're gonna talk about where these symbols come from that are being used by certain units of the, the most supported country in history up until this point. I mean, you've never seen all of a sudden so many different powers in the world really jump into this particular uh, flow of narrative so quickly where they've reversed huge momentum like the um, prior to this event, the momentum that was going against the national socialists in the world, right? Which is well-deserved, uh, you know, to be for people to go against that because that was kind of a rough time in history. You know, the Third Reich was a bad deal in history, right? Um, all that stuff that got attributed to one side of the political spectrum, all of a sudden people forget about that on this deal. Well, what's up with that? Why such a short memory? Goldfish memory? Or is there more to it? We're going to talk about that in the video. So check it out. I will leave the link below. Unfortunately, people don't remember God's commandments. One of them, the second command being, don't take on these symbols with the roots in heathen gods and serve them and take on the identity and use that as your flag or your insignia. Don't take on those things because he will visit the iniquity of those fathers on the third and fourth generation and all of those people who hate him. But those who love his commandments will be blessed, right? So that's the moral of the story that we're getting into is we can avoid all these controversies by simply being obedient and wise rather than jumping into stuff and then having to defend yourself later on it, right? Um, that becomes a problem. So in this video, again, it's not a hit piece against any person, any group. I'm not taking sides. A lot of people have been very angry with me because I have not taken sides on this current avant-garde conflict. Everyone's got to, it's like the Super Bowl. Everyone has to like have an opinion and watch and do this, right? I haven't taken on a side. War is terrible. War itself is a crime and an atrocity. There's atrocities on all sides in wars. I'm just trying to bring some light to the issue. If my son, who's a young young guy now, like he's a little guy, if he asked me a serious question like this at some point in the future, this is the kind of answer I would want him to hear, right? So that's the tone of this video we're gonna get into. Uh, we have a lot more talks like this over on some other platforms, but I'm gonna share at least this prelude with you guys to give you something to think about. If you were ever curious on what the truth is on that, is the symbol that we're talking about for this certain outfit in the, uh, the Russia-Ukraine deal, are those symbols really 
like, are those national socialist symbols or does that have some more innocent background? We're going to go over the history of that um, and much more in the video that I'm talking about. So that's just a heads up for that deal. Um, I got lots more treats for you guys coming up here on YouTube for sure. Uh, we're going to continue this deal. Uh, there's a lot of important messages we got to share with everybody. But um, and due to the censorship and due to the demonetization, unfortunately, you guys understand, like, I got to keep the lights on too, right? And being a capitalist and not a communist and not a crybaby, I subscribe to outfits I find valuable. And I also am putting out content as well. Most of my efforts over uh, 10 times the videos now that I'm releasing here on YouTube, like at least five to 10 times the effort is going onto the Patreon platform. So if you ever want to buy Rex a cup of coffee for the price of a cup of coffee or whatever, um, then you can have her, you know, for a month of stuff uh, that's in incredibly, um, incredibly dense material in terms of like we have training stuff and all that. But if you have any comments, any thought, full or intelligent comments, please leave them below. If you don't have thoughtful or intelligent comments, leave those below as well as a witness against yourself. And I'll make fun of you for being a crybaby communist in the commentaries. All right, love you guys. Rex is out. Bye.